Hey guys, God bless. Welcome back to Twist and Shout. I'm Char, and today I have a video where I will be redoing my little twist. Let's, you know, it, it doesn't look bad, but I'm not interested in having a style right now because I've been really, really busy and have not felt my best, as y'all know. So it was just like, look, I'm just going to make these smaller so they can perhaps last longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist it with my uh, rice water slash leave-in mixture and some oil. And I'm going to be using the Dugrow. In particular, I'm using the Dugrow Mega Thick. Y'all know that I tried the Mega Thick, the Mega Long. I tried almost every Dugrow. I even tried the oil and I gave my honest opinion about the oil. The oil to me personally is not the best thing I ever tried. I wouldn't say it's the worst, but just as I suspected originally, because even with me making my own oils, I was like, you know, some products that come out, they make an oil, they make a grease. And not too many do well both ways, if that makes sense. Like Softy. I love Softy's oil. I honestly, that $2 oil to me personally, their Softy Signature Oil is better than the Dugro oil. And like I said, that's my personal opinion. And that's from smell, texture, how well it actually holds in moisture, how well it seals, um, how well it is applied, the value for your buck, all of that gets uh, like A plus over the Dugro oil in my opinion. But I do have some interesting things to say about using the Dugro Mega Thick Grease. Y'all know I've used the Mega Long one. I used that one all the way up. I used it in all my first grease mixtures. So I, I do feel like it did its part in the grease mixtures. And I said, you know what? Let me try these on their own from head to toe. Because that's what a lot of people were asking me because they were saying, hey, I'm noticing that most of the time you're applying the grease and the mixtures to your scalp, which would make sense because um, the grease mixtures contain sulfur and their intent is to stimulate growth. So of course you only can stimulate growth in one place and that's your scalp, not your ends. Like no matter how much someone tries to back with science about clipping ends and stuff like the ends are the end of your hair like if you clip them they're gone your growth is from your root nowhere else but um let's talk about the mega thick that's the blue one surprisingly i have some really good things to say about the do grow grease and let me just say what I mean by that, because obviously I had a before and after. Like before it was OK, they seem to be OK with grease mitts, but a lot of people are saying that they do more harm than good. Like if you stop using it and, you know, just a lot of things that didn't sit well with me. Also, because of the ingredients, uh, paraffin and mineral oil, you know, those ingredients are what the natural hair community tries to shy away from. But I have been doing a little more research and I understand that mineral oil can almost give you the same impression or feel as castor oil. And it's all about how you use it and when you use it and, you know, just seeing what works for your hair and what amount. So, of course, I still say that you don't go full fledged and buy everything that has mineral oil in it. Take your time and do your research and make sure you're always working on clean or wet hair. But let me just say this. Y'all know that I was at first saying, you know what? Mega thick and mega long looks very similar in ingredients. However, they are different because the mineral oil and paraffin is actually first in this mega thick, which led me to use it last instead of first because the mega long one actually has it like towards the end of the list or somewhere in the middle. I can't really remember. But just to give you an idea on um, what's actually in here, you have um, the micro styling wax. Like I said, the paraffin and synthetic wax, um, wheat germ oil, the methicone. You have safflower seed oil, wild cherry extract. Um, what is that? Matria flower. You have Hannah. You have golden seal, 
some more flowers, hops. You have a whole lot of different exotic flowers in here. You have um, bark extract. Then of course you have your fragrance, you have some preservatives and color. So, a oh, corn oil, I don't know if I said corn oil, and you have shea butter towards the top and metal foam. I, <laughs> I skipped the whole row, I'm sorry. Um, ladlin, metal foam seed oil, shea butter, zaymay or corn oil. You got vitamin E, that's all on the second row of listings, which isn't bad. And I will say the mega long one actually has like maybe plus four or five more ingredients. So very long list of ingredients. But um, y'all know green grease usually smells like green grease, which I'm not a fan of. So I was kind of glad to hurry up and use up the mega long one. I would say this mega thick one smells so much better in my opinion. The consistency is really smooth and soft. It is really good um, for application. I would say that. And as y'all can see that it works really, really well with the combination of water, surprisingly. I would say with my experience so far that obviously Blue Magic and now this Dugrow works best with applying with water or a liquid leave-in. It's less messy. I can honestly say that that's one thing that's kind of somewhat kind of annoying about the softy is that it kind of gets real gulky and kind of pasty like i honestly want to say from this point that this do grow actually blend and work well in faster even than blue magic now that could be because it's not as thick and it has more oils in it which makes it more smoother which is also the case for my own personal grease that I make that is way more oils than petroleum. So the application process will be smoother and it will easily sit on your hair and hold in that moisture. That's the bonus versus just being petroleum that's going to slide off or rub off on your hair bonnet or your satin pillowcase or <laughs> your clothes or whatever else case it may be. But, um, I feel really good about trying this out on my entire hair strand from root to tip. I'm excited for you guys so you guys can get a better picture understanding. Um, like I said, for me right now, it gets a thumbs up. I don't plan on, because y'all know I got a lot of grease to go through, so I don't plan on like fill, finishing this jar, I don't think. I don't know. I've been thinking about it. But I think for the most part, I'm going to just use it for this week and then I'm going to switch to something else. And like I said, it could be just out of fear because, again, a lot of people are saying that it's stopping using this grease that causes the issues, which I'm trying to figure out, like, what about it would cause that, like, as far as the ingredients go, because right now I don't see what would cause that. But you never know, like, you never know what's being known and what's being unknown as far as ingredients and the combination of ingredients you just don't know so everything is just like trial and error but as y'all can see my hair is looking much better than what i started i had almost no breakage um had a little shedding that's understood you're gonna have some you're not gonna eliminate everything but i do want you guys honest opinions and feedbacks on any of the do grow that you tried comment down below what was your full experience and please if anyone has a negative experience that's worth listening to don't be shamed don't be shy please include it in the comment section for me and everyone else so that we all can learn and if possible avoid hair damage that's the goal like we don't want to just throw things out there and cause someone else to suffer so i absolutely love you guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe god bless take care bye